we can't cry for you. What about a cry for me, Argentina? Not here. No, ma'am. This is not Argentina. This is Salva. Relationships come to an end, bro. They come to an end. Why make a whole entire press release? <laughs> just <laughs> you just want to shoot in the G6. They will get a huge something and then they will say, oh, thank you, God. It is all thanks to God. Is it? Ah, keep God's name out of it. If you meet this guy in a dark alley, it's crickets for you. I feel like if you are with somebody that you know and you trust, even though I don't really know how you can trust someone to that extent, I think that this party is better than this party. Don't nobody care. You're not registered to vote. Don't nobody care. Your opinion doesn't matter if you're not going to put your ex on the ballot paper. Hey everybody, welcome back to part two of my take, controversial trending topics. Part one is now done. We are, I'm sorry, we're here right now. Oh no, no ma'am. Mm-mm. Mm. Mm. I guess you find again. And it. And it. All right, we are back with part two of my controversial trending topic segment. Thank you so much for being here. As you know, my name is Katleo Malela. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for choosing me over and over again. If you do like these segments and you like these videos, please do give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and also watch the ads so that you can give your little bit and do your little bit to contributing to the channel so I can keep creating this kind of content for you. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to get into part two of controversial trending topics and this time we're moving around to youtube i want to hear your take on tabaya lodge Lynn, natasha jesus christ okay you know what i'm saying listen why give a whole entire announcement that the relationship is over why are we doing that why do couples do that why do people do that Okay, and um, I believe that there are some sort of commentaries around how Lodge was an. Nelly Matumpisto, Natumpana, Natumpana, I believe with his previous relationship, he was charged or he something, he was taken to court over domestic abuse. And to be honest, Retarian. So if I really love Natasha, I don't even know who re, what what must the girl say about the fact that relationships come to an end, bro. They come to an end. Why make a whole entire press release? <laughs> Just <laughs> oh, what a fun, man. Ah, uh, eh. <laughs> I don't know, dog. I don't know. Dog. <laughs> Why make a whole entire press release to tell the whole world that now our relationship is over? Please look at us. Um, uh, I just we just want to come out here to say that uh, we are no longer together. Um, what, celebrities don't even do press releases. Okay, they're celebrities too, I guess. But I'm talking about A-listers, like right all over the world and stuff. They don't sit down and do press releases and talk about how they've broken out. Okay, maybe they do. I don't know. <laughs> it didn't really change the price of bread. And if at all, he did something to her, and that's the reason why they broke up, she, she must have known about him before she got together with him. So if you're going to get together with somebody and not do the background research, eh? you must paint yourself a nice picture, okay? You must paint yourself a very nice picture about the kind of person that you're going to be with. Do the work. Find out about the person you're going to be with, and especially if they are well-known. We can't cry for you. What about a cry for me, Argentina? Not here. No, ma'am. This is not Argentina. This is Salva. We're not going to cry Argentina here. No, we can't cry for you when we don't... Where were we? Where were we? Hanel Kopana, let's hear a holy monad. And Hanel Kopana, let's hear a holy monad. You didn't even tell us. 
You didn't even tell us. I don't know. You didn't tell us that you guys were getting together. But now you want to tell us that you're breaking up? Why? Get out of here, man. Um, I'd like to ask you here. Let me say it. Let me say it in English. Okay. I'd like to ask you about this issue of influencers faking things. Side note, it says that somebody faked the whole entire wedding. <laughs> Yes, we know about uh, what came out about Kifi Boo and the alleged faking of an entire wedding, which she then came out to say, if you're going to talk about like me, about me, I'm sorry, call centers, which she then came out to say, if you're going to talk and run your mouth about me like that, I will expose some people. Listen. You will be shook at the lengths that some influencers go to just for content. Even me doesn't make sense to me. It's borrowing bags. It's posing in jets that are on the ground and paying for that shoot. You just want to shoot in the G6. You just want to shoot yourself and have a whole entire photo shoot in the G6. Okay, it's, it's, it's running yourself into debt because you want to come across as having the latest bags and shoes and all of this. And what, oh, what irks me the most about some of these influencers is that they will get something, a huge something, right? Like a car, they will get a huge something and then they will say, oh, thank you, God. It is all thanks to God. Is it? Is it Masabata? Ah, eh, man. Ah, eh, man. Ah, eh, man. Ah, eh. Ay, 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 ay. Is it, though? Is it thanks to God or is it thanks to Temba? <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Let's go to the praise. We give our God the thanks, see? Look, now we do all of that. We praise God. We give him thanks. We do all of this. We all do all of this for things that we work hard on. And then if, if we start to see and reap and sow the rewards, yes. But keep God's name out of it, please. Please. Ah, keep God's name out of it. When you know what you know. You know, we know what you know. <laughs> we know, we know. We know what you're doing. Stop, man. Or just say straight, if you're changing cars left, right, and center, just say straight, you're leasing them. In case you guys didn't know, cars can be leased. You can lease a car. You don't have to own it. You can have it. Even with certain campaigns, car brands can give you the car to drive for like three years, four years, depending on how long the contract is, they give it to you to drive for that period. They're leasing it out to you just so that you can magetta them. That's all. And if you've got the money to lease out a Porsche, okay, where you're going to be paying 60, 80,000 rands a month for this Porsche, and uh, do what you got to do. But then say it straight that I decided to just, you know, <laughs> lease me out a little cute little number baby, number baby. I the extent that people will run themselves into debt and live a life of lies for the sakes of clicks and likes and views could never be me. Never, 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 never. Mm -mm. And, and all it is for, let me tell you the honest truth, all it is for is self-egotistical satisfaction. That's it. All you want is just the likes. But well born, whatever, whatever. It's just for ego. That's all it's for. And care who says what. Unless you already come from it, you come from the money, you're making the money yourself, you're blah, blah, blah. Even posting it is for egotistical satisfaction. That's all it is. It's for likes and follows, dog. That's all it is. That's all. Ah. Um, the hitman that allegedly murdered AKA. It's about damn time. It's about damn time.
Now the story that's associated with that, whoo -hoo, the alleged story that's associated with that, first and foremost, I like the judge, the magistrate who said, eh, eh, ta, 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 remove, we want to see you. So I figure, Yes. The country wants to know who you are. We loved AKA. Okay? We loved him. We brought him into our homes. We loved AKA. He was a superstar for this country. You understand? So we want to see you. Oh, oh, oh you didn't mind. You didn't mind when you were orchestrating this whole thing. You didn't mind, allegedly. For 800,000. And then, unfortunately, his friend gets caught in the cro Oh, my God. Now, people allegedly are now saying that there could be ties with Anela's family with regards to this hit. Alleged, I don't know. I don't even know how people report on things like this because that's why I'm saying allegedly. If you're a father and you lost your kid... And you know your kid would have never done this. And you are highly influential and highly connected. What would you do? Hakitsi, I'm not encouraging another. I'm just saying. But as for the hitmans, it's about damn time. And I'm so glad that we saw their faces. Oh, there was one of them. I was just looking at his face and I was like, Oh, okay, mulayu. Oh, okay, mulayu. Just us. Even his face just looked, mm, he just had a mean mug on his face. If you meet this guy in a dark alley, it's crickets for you. It's, cr it's over, it's done. It's done, it's over, it's over. Dinkabi, a life for 800,000. And were found in a neighboring country through a bank card. Ignoring red flags only to end up with a 50 part who the F was I married to series. Except don't ignore red flags. Keep saying that. That's great. Keep saying it. Just keep saying it. Keep saying it out loud. I have a whole entire segment on this channel about red flags. Do not ignore red flags. Don't ignore red flags. No matter, no matter how much, how much you may want a relationship, no matter how much you may want a baby, no matter how much you may want companionship, marriage, do not ignore red flags. Sometimes they even may ruin. I even tell you guys this. I'm just Pull yourself together. Do not get wound up over this. I even tell you guys this all the time. All the time. Sometimes that flag is maroon. And now you're looking at it, you're like, oh, Mara, it's, it's not really red, man. Maybe I can work around it. You can't work around nothing. Nothing. If something is already presenting itself and it's raising your eyebrow, it's raising, and you're just like, this just, just doesn't make sense, do the work. Do the homework, find out what the hell is going on, and dip. Dip and duck, baby. Dip and duck. Do like just don't ignore red flags. No matter how much you may want love and companionship and, and affection and this and this, do not ignore red flags. Are modern men getting lazy, are they? Lazy to what? You see, here's the thing. Sometimes we need to bring a little bit more context when we say, are modern men getting lazy? I can't say yes, they are. With regards to what? Yes. Are they getting lazy in terms of um, relationships, women, partnerships, courting? Getting lazy in what sense? I don't think they are. I don't think they are. I don't think men are good people. I can tell you that for free. I've been telling you that for free. For free. Free 99. That men are not good people. But are they getting lazy in terms of what? Sending nudes or videos to a partner. 
uh, IG example, the trending video of the spa lady. I did not see that. And thank goodness I didn't. I don't... Re <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not a send nudes kind of girl. Do I disagree about sending nudes? No, I don't. I feel like if you are with somebody that you know and you trust, even though I don't really know how you can trust someone to that extent. Um, but hey man, if you want to be spicy and keep things sassy and spicy with your person, yes, there's nudes and then there's sexy dress, like lingerie, just sexy attire and you send them that, fine, that I agree with, that's sexy, I don't mind that, that's, <laughs> that's cute, that's cute, okay, um, but nude, nude, nude. <laughs> Absolutely not. Why? <laughs> it could never be me. Could never be me because the problem is that's where it, un it, it ends up. The trending video of the spa lady. Trending video. So it was online. So are you comfortable with having your bits and pieces on the streets for everybody to know? Are you comfortable with that? If you are, okay. No. No. Young people, 25 to 35, who refuse to register to vote. Why? Why? Why aren't you registering to vote? Why? Why do you need influencers and celebrities to, to propel you to vote? Or to motivate you to vote? Why? If you don't want to vote and you refuse to register to vote, it nullifies your opinion in the politics of the country. Do you understand? If I'm going to be sitting with somebody and we are talking about the politics of the country, especially in a voting year, and you're going to sit there and say, yeah, but, you know, it's just this corruption. It's this horrible misappropriation of funds. And it's this and it's this and it's this. And you're not even registered to vote. I don't want to hear it. What are you talking about? I think that this party is better than this party. Don't nobody care. You're not registered to vote. Don't nobody care. Your opinion doesn't matter if you're not going to put your ex on the ballot paper. Your opinion doesn't matter. No one cares for your opinion. You shouldn't even have one. If you are of age and you are in a country like the country that I am in right now, Salvar, where we need God's grace and we need the grace of the people to vote, we need your ex. We need your vote. We, what, do, why? Why are we even having this conversation right now? Why are we even having this conversation right now? It nullifies any opinion that you have on politics of the country. If you're going to complain, my God, this unemployment is so high. Did you vote so that we could change the situation of the employment in the country? Did you vote, though? Oh, you didn't. Shush. Do they just... I'd like your, hi cat, hey sweetie, I'd like your opinion on women with no kids thinking that they're higher and better than those who do have kids, okay? Especially where men are concerned. Um, absolutely not. Do you know what this reminds me of? This TikTok by this girl called Zimkita, oh my God. You know when they say empty vessels make the most noise? Yeah, that's that girl. Uh, women who think that they are better, I don't think women think that. I don't think women who don't have children think that they are better. Well, some do, evidently. In case in point, Zim Kit. Um, but in most cases, I don't think women who don't have children think that they are better than women who do, especially when it comes to the male gaze. Absolutely not. I don't think I'm better than the next woman who's got three kids, one kid, five, ten kids. Why would I think that way? And if they do, it is a really just uneducated, really dumb way of thinking that you are better because you don't have any kids. What makes you better? Because you might not even have those kids and be with a man 
and have a woman who's got kids take that man from you. So what makes you think you're better? I, I, I just, I think it's a very archaic, dumb, stupid way of thinking. Yes. Really, to have a woman think that she is better than a woman who doesn't have children thinks she's better than women who do. Why? Because they've got children? No. No. And this also happens, this also works adversely where women who do have children that's a conversation we'll have for another day you're not ready for that conversation where women who do have children think that they're better than women who don't think they know more of life they're more experienced they're more this 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 they are more all because they are mothers we'll have the conversation when you're ready but for women who don't have children to think that they're better than women who do is ridiculous. It's nonsensical. It's diabolical. What are people thinking? Like sometimes people need to just stop talking. You know that donut hole on your face? This one? This donut hole on your face? People like Muslim Kita need to shut their mouths. Because at the end of the day, by a woman who's got children. You think not having kids does something for you? Absolutely not. Let's do the last one, all right? It's going to be about 30 minutes. Let's see. What's your takes on the politics in this country? If you're uncomfortable discussing which party you support, that's fine. But what's your take more or less on what each party stands for? Each party? Jeez, we'd be here all day. I wouldn't talk about that. Uh, I'd never disclose which party I'd vote for. Also, I wouldn't talk about uh, which party party what each party stands for whatever because politics is not a part of my channel i don't like to talk about politics or religion on my platforms um great content creators dan dan on youtube and on tiktok he wears the beanies dan coda he wears the beanies zetu my gosh on tiktok very well advanced with the politics of the country i watch and follow the politics of the country but i don't care to make it a part of my content space so what i will say is that the politics of the country are in shambles politicians lie <laughs> politicians lie and they will lie especially in order to get your votes so you need to be very very careful about who you choose to vote for and things like that but the politics are in shambles and because of the politics of the country adversely the economics of the country are also in shambles so it's really a shit show truly is truly is just a flippin shit show but do i want to talk about it no do i have private conversations about it with people that i know and all of this absolutely almost every day especially given the fact that it's a voting year yes um but it's not something i bring forth into my content creation space um but it's going to be interesting it's really going to be interesting. What is sad is the fact that young people don't want to vote and that's actually worrying. They don't want to register to vote. They don't want to vote. That is very, very concerning. Um, everybody's got a right, freedom of opinion, freedom of speech, freedom of choice, freedom of right. If you don't want to do it, you don't want to do it. Um, but then, then just know, just know, then, then be great then you are forced to be grand with what's happening in the country if you're not going to vote. Um, but, um, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about the politics of the country because I could get into it. I mean, I study politics at school, but I don't want to do that. So we're going to end it off with this one. Gents wanting princess treatment. What are your thoughts? Problem? Princess treatment is a concept, right? Princess treatment is being treated a certain way, being treated to nice things, taken out, being bought a drink, having someone open your door, having someone treat you with utmost care and, and, and niceness and just um, spoiling you, treating you well, respecting you, you know, just like a princess would be treated. What's wrong with men wanting to be treated the same way? What's wrong with men wanting... No, honestly. Honestly, you can come at me for this one. It's fine. 
if you want to be treated a certain way, what's wrong if somebody else who just doesn't happen to, who happens to be a man, want to be treated the same way? They want to be spoiled too. They want it to be treated like you too. They want to have nice things done for them too. Of course, there's varying degrees of nice things being done, guys. Come on. Like, like let's, let's use a bit of contextual thinking with regards to societal norms and all of that. But the gist of it is what's wrong with men wanting their partners, their women, to do nice things for them as well. I, I don't see the problem in it. I don't see the problem in it. I just feel like a man who doesn't already do that who doesn't already treat himself with princess treatment and treat his partner with princess treatment, what is the point? You can't expect somebody to do it for you, right, if you don't do it for yourself and for them. It all starts with you. If you want to be treated like a princess, are you treating yourself like one? Are you displaying to the world, to yourself, to those around you, that you conduct yourself in princessy treatment ways and princessy treatment vibes. Are you showing people that? Because if you treat yourself that way, let me tell you something, it's going to be easy to treat somebody else that way. If you can treat yourself to nice things and you walk into a relationship, it's going to be easy for you to treat that person to nice things, to provided it's reciprocated then it's easy. Then it's very easy to do. So I don't see what the problem is, where the problem is. If a man is going to say, I want to also be treated with princess treatment. I want my partner to do nice things for me. I want my partner to take me out to dinner. I want da, da, da. It's all within variations. Okay. But what's wrong with it? Ha, Eluna. Every time you live at life, ah, yeah. Sometimes, whoa, whoa, whoa. Emang hanyan. Anyway, I'm going to end it off here. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked it, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. Watch all the ads. It goes a long way to supporting and donating to the channel. If you would like to put a donate donation towards this video or for the channel to keep growing so that we can continue creating content like this, there is a thanks button somewhere down below. And if you want to see more bonus content, more bonus vlogs, more personal content from my end of the spectrum that I don't share on the main space there is a channel membership uh, page where you can join the link is also in the description box down below for now I'm gonna go I've been talking for quite a while I am bushed I'm done thank you so much for watching the video thank you as always for choosing me over and over again until the next one I will see you very very soon until then mwah, sayonara